Okay, so this is part two of your survival guide for the internal and exponentials. And um, I just want to kind of clarify for you guys that this is assuming that there's been no vertical shift. So if you're used to seeing the transform form the equation like this with a plus c in it, we're going to assume no vertical shift here because we're dealing with finance problems and we're dealing with biological processes for the most part. So in these cases, it's often modeled without the plus c. You just assume it's zero unless you're told otherwise. So we basically have two things to look for. y is equal to a times b to the power of x. So a, remember, that's going to be your y-intercept, or the initial amount. And b is going to be related to your rate. Um, and that can be from a percentage, if you know percentages. If it's increasing, 1 plus whatever the percentage was. If it's decreasing, 1 minus. Um, and often you get b more from the word problem than you would from the actual graph. So if you know both of them, a and b, you just plug it straight into the equation, you're done. If you only know one, we've got to go through the process of putting in the one we know, using a point, using solver, and then writing out the equation. So this is very similar to what you did for the hyperbolas. Okay. First example, find the equation of the exponential in the form a is e y is equal to a times b to the power of x. So looking for anything that I know, I see a point, 2 comma 32, remember it's x comma y. And I see another point, x comma y here, and that happens to be my y-intercept. So I know a is equal to 2. x comma y, it's starting up at a height of 2. I don't know anything about b, so let's start with what I know. y is equal to 2 times something I don't know to the power of x. I'm going to use the point 2 comma 32. So again, x comma y, so y becomes 32, 2 times b to the power of 2. Put it into solver, see what you get. And in this case, you should get b is equal to 4. And now that I know that b is equal to 4, plug it back in with the other information I already know. y is equal to a times b, which becomes 2 times 4 to the power of x. And whatever you do, do not try to simplify 2 times 4 into 8. It's 2 times 4 to the power of x. You leave it exactly like that. Don't simplify those numbers together. And you're done. You've got your equation. You can use it for any kind of word problem you want. So that comes from the y-intercept on the graph and a point that's been given to me. Next example. A little bit of a word problem here. So a student buys a plane ticket on a credit card with a 10% monthly interest rate. So I know that's an interest rate on a credit card means it's going to be an increasing, and I can see that here it's also increasing. So I take the 10%, convert it to decimal, 0 0.10, and since it's increasing, it's 1 plus 1 0.10, so I get 1.10 as my B. So that comes out of here, 10% increasing, Convert that to a decimal, add it to 1 because it's increasing. Next thing I might try to find out then is A. It doesn't tell me anything about that in the word problem, but if I look at the graph, I have A here. So A is equal to, I'm going to assume halfway between 200 and 400 that it is at 300. So she buys a $300 plane ticket on a 10% monthly interest rate on her credit card. Let's write out what our equation is. So this is the case where I actually know a is 300 times b, 1.10 to the power of x. I'm done. I already know my equation from a and b. So that's that first process here. If you know both of them, you just put it straight into the equation and you're done. So that's quite easy. The next thing that would be using it. So 10 months, as an example. That's in time, that's along your x-axis. So when x is equal to 10, how much money will she owe? So to figure that out, y is equal to 300 times 1.10. 10 is now, sorry, x is now what 10 is equal to. Put that into the calculator, $778 roughly. So in 10 months, she takes out a $300 credit card bill with a monthly interest of 10%. She's going to own, oh, $778. So make sure you're paying your credit cards off quick if you have them. Next one. Again, our generic form. 
So I've got no information here in a word problem, and I'm relying solely on the graph. Looking for my y-intercept, I see it's at 100, so a is equal to 100. Have nothing about b, so I start with what I know. y is equal to a, which is 100, times b to x. Going to the point that I've been given here, x comma y. I know that I can replace y with 133.10 is equal to 100 times b, which I don't know, to the power of 3. Put this in a solver, and you should get in this case that b is equal to 1.10. So again, a 10% increase here, but I'd write out my final equation as y is equal to 100 times 1.10 to the power of x, and you can use that now. So remember, two things to solve for exponentials, a and b. Take a look at the word problem carefully, take a look at the graph carefully, and figure out anything that you can from those.